Hi everyone. Uh, it is Friday, August 5th, 2016, around 11.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is a follow-on to the video I made a couple of days ago about how to downgrade Fallout 4 from version 179 to 169. Uh, I've just received word that the new Fallout Script Extender has been released, so I'm going to show you really quickly how you roll back into that version. So you can see here in the uh, Fallout 4 script extender Silverlock site. We've got a new version and now supports the Fallout 4 runtime 179. So if we go back to the directory uh, from the previous instruction, we're going to go ahead and find the Fallout 4 exe file and we're going to go ahead and delete that file. Then we're going to go ahead and right click on the Fallout 4.exe.back and rename that file to just Fallout 4.exe. Then we're going to make a copy of this exe and put it into a separate folder that I call Fallout 4 Downgrade. So we're going to copy that here and then go into the Fallout 4 Downgrade folder. Then we're going to rename that Fallout 4.exe to Fallout 4 space 1.7.9.exe. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and download that new Fallout 4 script extender, which you can see here in the bottom pane. And we're going to copy the DLLs and the exe file into the Fallout 4 Steam directory. Copy here, click replace, and we should be all set. So we will run the Fallout 4 script extender and the game will go ahead and load right up. And you're now using the latest version of the game with the latest version of the script extender. Now we made that backup copy. So the next time that this happens, uh, you have a backup copy of the 1.7.9 exe. So you can just follow the first video again, and then you're good to go, and you're all set. So I hope this tip was helpful for you. Just want to give everyone an update.